Um, the third question we're going to focus on um, just asks us to remove the fractions in the equation below. So we're looking for a simple way to remove the fractions. In other words, what we want to be able to do is, there's a couple steps to this, is to find a, a common denominator. And then, because this is an equation, so we have an equal side, so we have a left side and a right side. Whatever we do to one side, we can do to the other. So once we get a common denominator, let's, um, let's call it CD. So we'll say the left side has some common denominator and the right side also has the common denominator. We can actually reduce the fraction by multiplying both the left and the right side by the common denominator. Because whatever you do to one side of an equation, you can do to the other. And what that would cause to happen is common denominators to eliminate and we would have no more fractions. So um, when we take a look at this, one of the ways to do this is to find the lowest common multiple. Um, technically, any common multiple will work, just the lowest one's usually easiest to work with. Sometimes it's hard to find the lowest one. One way to do it for sure is you can multiply um, all of the numbers by each other to find a common multiple. But actually, by looking at these very quickly, I think 12 will be a nice lowest common multiple. Since each of these is a factor of 12, 3 times 4 is 12, 4 times 3 is 12, and 6 times 2 is 12. So that works out great. So what we're going to do is I'm going to write in the space below here. I'm going to multiply the first version, because we want it to be 12, both the top and the bottom, by the value of 4. Okay. When we do that, we'll end up with 16x over 12. Subtract. The next number, we're going to multiply both the top and the bottom by 2. So we'll get 10 y over 12 and that's going to be equal to and because the denominator is 4 we're going to multiply both the top and the bottom by 3 we get 9 over 12. So now what we have is exactly what we talked about before we have that that common denominator of 12. So now what we can do is we can technically multiply the left side so this is the left side and the right side we can multiply them by the same value. So we're actually going to multiply this by 12 and this by 12. Very quickly on the right side, we know that these two 12s cancel out. And we're left at the value of 9, so we know this will be equal to 9. And on the left side of the equation, um, technically we would have to use distributive property. But when you do that, the 12s would cancel out and then the 12s would cancel out again. So again, you're left with 16x minus 10y. So we get 16x minus 10y is equal to 9. And that would be removing the fractions from this specific equation.